I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, but I've been super busy. You guys know how life goes. Um, there's a car pulling up next to me, and now I'm embarrassed that I'm recording the intro. We'll do this later. All right, they got out of their car and walked away. Uh, I'm shooting a gig tonight, so I've got my Minolta CLE with me. I've got a new 28 millimeter lens, uh, the M Core f2.8. And as you can see, I've also got a flash. I've got the Minolta Auto Flash, I think it's called, for the CLE. Um, obviously, a little bit later, I'll be developing the photos and we'll be looking at those. I'll be talking about the new lens that I've got. I'll be talking about the flash as well. Uh, but first, I'm actually going to go into the grocery store here and try to grab some food for the gig. And we will meet up later and check stuff out. All right, so here's the photos from the show. So as you can see, everything turned out great in development. I was using D76 uh, straight stock solution. Um, I don't usually like to dilute it. I'm a big fan of the faster development times. It's just worth my time in my experience. I like to get things done quicker so they can get dried quicker and that way I could scan them and edit them faster. But yeah, things looked good. Uh, really good performance from the 28 millimeter lens and the combination of the flash as well really pleased with this whole kit together. This is what I've wanted for a really, really long time. Don't get me wrong, I love the 40 millimeter that it comes with, but sometimes I'd like something a lot wider. Let's take a look at some of the other photos that I've taken over the past couple of months with the lens and uh, with the flash as well. Decent performance. Uh, obviously it's nothing compared to a 28 millimeter Leica lens. Uh, I don't really have the cash for that kind of stuff right now. So this is the closest I'm going to get to that until I get my money up. But for now, this is doing just fine. Really happy with everything that I've been getting with it. Uh, the 28 millimeter M Brocore lens have had this coating problem. A lot of the stuff that I've seen online shows a lot of white spotting or coating loss on the lenses. Mine's relatively unaffected. Um, I bought mine through eBay. I actually got a really, really good deal on it. Really nice, clean copies of this lens go for about 600, maybe seven. Um, I was able to get one for three from eBay uh, from a seller who was living in the States. Um, let's take a look at some of the color stuff here that I've got with it. I think the majority of the what I'm gonna be showing here is all Lomo 800. Not bad stuff, really. Honestly, I, I think it's all coming out really, really well. No issues with this lens shooting in daylight. I was really worried that I was gonna have some problems with the spotting problem that I had, maybe some ghosting or some flares, but everything looked really good. Even shooting opened, opened up at around f4 and f2.8 with low light. Not a bad investment for the 300 bucks that I spent on it. Um, well, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I've been really, really busy and I've got some free time coming up soon. So I'll be making another video probably in the next couple of months. I got some ectochrome that I just finished one roll of. I've got a second roll that I'm going to be burning through pretty soon and a couple of rolls of Portra 800. So we'll see how that all turns out and I will be back later. Thanks for watching.